the core deficit that is at the root of affecting a lot of these processes and particularly decoding, word recognition and spelling. What does the research say? Phonological awareness is considered to be a core deficit of reading disabilities. So for most of the children, if not all of the children, that you come to try and problem solve today, um, phonological awareness is a core part of the program, a core part of their issue. So we've got to work out how you're going to address that, whether they're at year one, whether they're at a year four level. The discovery of phonological awareness by researchers has been hailed as the single most powerful advance in the science and pedagogy of reading this century, one of the greatest successes of modern psychology and a scientific success story. Why are the researchers so excited about it? Because this core deficit once treated, starts to move spelling and reading really, really dramatically. Again, traditionally, what have we done in education? We've viewed literacy as a visual process, whereas what we now know with theory is this is the core basis. And for children to move visually with reading, then actually, or with phonics, or with the alphabet, there is an auditory precursor skill that needs to fall into place. And if we are seeing visual complications happening, chances are these auditory skills are not highly, as highly developed as they need to be. I view phonological awareness as a barrier, a wall, that starts to block the teaching of core literacy skills. And if these skills aren't falling into place nicely, there's something going on. Your teaching is hitting a wall, hitting a barrier, rather than really getting through to that child. How do those processes really get through? How does your spelling, your reading, your phonic teaching get through to a child? It gets through, it has a much better pathway. One, if children have good language skills, and that's what we're gonna talk about in the afternoon. Secondly, if they have really good auditory skills. And, Again, what does the research say? Without explicit instruction, the awareness of the phonemic structure of words will elude approximately 25 to 30% of middle class children in year one, which is phenomenal. It's a really large number of middle class kids. And if you're in a lower socioeconomic area, your numbers are gonna be even higher. And if children are coming in with some sort of language delay, your numbers are going to be even higher. So again, we need to really, really, ideally, kindergarten and pre-primary, pre-year one, need to work this skill. But if you're in year one and these skills haven't been ready, you need to, in term one, do a real readiness term. Let's have a look at this. I think it's a great representation. Here we have a phonological awareness skills hierarchy. Each skill in this hierarchy gets more and more complicated. Children learn to syllabify, or should learn to syllabify, in kindergarten, hamburger. Really simple, processing the, set, the chunks, the large beats in words. Rhyming, ham and ram, yeah, they have the same ending, they rhyme. Initial sound awareness. Ham, oh yeah, it starts with a sound. Blending, what's this word? Log, oh, can you put those together? Oh yeah, makes the word log. Segmentation, what are the sounds in the word tap? Oh yeah, there's a t, there's a a, and there's a p. All of these skills are considered phonological awareness skills. The research says, Phonemic awareness is more important for literacy. Why? Because there's real, so here are our phonemic awareness skills. The awareness of phonemes, individual sounds, and not large clusters of sounds like syllables and rhymes. So here are our phonemic awareness skills, and you will see that straight across from that, if a child doesn't have initial sound awareness, the alphabet. Learning the alphabet will be really tough. If a child can't blend, well, decoding is going 
going to be really tough. Segmentation is the prerequisite skill for spelling. And if you look at this is core teaching curriculum for year one, and if you've got kids that are at that year one level that are really struggling, we've got to look at these prerequisite skills. The first one we're going to look at now is the alphabet. We're going to talk about children who are not learning the alphabet. You're doing everything and it's not sinking in. They've got no idea of the alphabet. 